The distance between the two risers is 21 inches. That means I can't use Atlas's 18 inch Camelback or Parker bridge. So I'm going to build my own bridge using Atlas's Warren Truss bridge as reference. The first step was to make all the trusses for the bridge. And according to my reference point, each truss was about 2.5 inches on the base. Using base wood, I cut small little pieces to make my template truss. I put it together to see how it work, and then I just took my template piece and cut pieces from another piece of wood. I use an exacto blade to cut the wood, but I recommend a Dremel tool or a mini saw because it was hard work. Twenty-one inches divided by two point five inches gives us eight point four inches. So I made eight trusses for each side and left little gaps to cover the point four. I painted all sixteen trusses, the base and two sidings, a flat black, and then I glued the two sidings to the base using wood glue. I then glued the top rails to all the trusses. Next, I glued the trusses to the sidings on the bridge and then wait for the glue to dry, and voila. Next time, I'll use thinner pieces of wood or even styrene. But for now, it works fine. And now for the fun part, making it invisible. You'll need invisible paint and a paintbrush. I'm not sure if this invisible paint is half empty or half full, it's hard to tell. Apply your invisible paint on pretty thick. You want it dripping, dripping wet. It acts pretty quickly. Once all the bridge is covered with the visible paint, let it dry. It turns out the invisible paint wears off after time, so just for fun, I thought I would experiment on other things. 